Hello, this is my review of the Panasonic Lumix FS10. I did an unboxing video about a week ago. And I've been having to play with the camera and uh, quite impressed with it really for the money that I paid for it. I got this one from PC World. Paid a little bit more than what it is online but it was in store so I decided to get it. This was £119 but I still think it's well worth the money for what you get. It's a five times optical zoom and I've noticed when you're using the optical zoom it seems to go up to 7.5 times. Now that's not, not a digital one, it's, it's some sort of enhanced optical zoom, it doesn't really deteriorate the picture so that's quite a handy feature on it. On the top, that there is your speaker because it's got a HD video on this. There's a microphone there. So be careful not to put your finger over that when you're shooting videos. I've done it a couple of times. On and off switch, a shutter button, zoom, your telephoto wide angle, and this button here is your intelligent auto, I think that is. Basically, you press that and it puts the camera into fully automatic mode, and it does cope pretty well. Um, there's your on-off switch there, little rock cover. Now this mode button here, on a lot of cameras you'd find like a rotary dial but this one that's pretty much the same thing you press the mode and it takes you through different settings for the camera obviously you've got your timer there, your self shoot timer macro button um, and what's that one there I'm not sure what that one is it does come in for like changing settings within the menus I think yeah that's right and there's your flash button there menu button Quick menu, that's a great feature on it, which I'll show you in a minute. And the display for showing different, what well, is pretty much what it says, shows you different um, bits on the display. So I'll just turn it on. It comes on really quick. It's in playback mode at the moment. This is a few pictures I took the other night on a tripod at night. It's really good for shooting night scenery as well. Obviously, you would need a tripod. Um, in fact I'll put it in, in a um, record mode so let's put the slider up there it's not the quietest when the zoom comes out I'll just show you that again let's turn it off it comes out pretty quick switches on pretty quick but it's not the quietest zoom I've noticed I've had quieter before but that's just me being fussy but it comes on pretty much instantly. Um, okay, so it's in camera mode now. And you've got this mode button on what I mentioned earlier. Sorry, it's getting out of focus here a bit. Um, you press your mode button. You've got normal picture. You've got photo frame, which puts like a fancy frame around it. I'd never use that. And the great thing about this camera, it's got scene mode. If you press scene mode by pressing the menu button here, you've got lots of different types of scenes and like it's got like a star if you can see it there it's a starry sky which I use for shooting those night shots and that turns out really well there's night landscape portrait self portrait portrait loads of different um, scene modes high speed burst I've not tried all of them yet but I'm sure they're pretty good and you got motion picture click on OK now if I press this is the great little feature right the quick menu button here this works in video mode and for still photographs. Press your quick menu and it is what it says. You get a quick menu within video mode. Now you've got auto white balance which is great. And you can also set it manually. And that's pretty good for a, a budget camera which shoots HD video. You've got your quality. You Obviously you've got HD which is the highest. And you've got is VGA. So I can't see it very well through the screen. I'm looking through a screen here. VGA, quality VGA, sorry that's wide VGA there, VGA, quality VGA, just different settings, um, and that one is like for your LCD screen, I think this particular screen, it changes brightness according to the sunshine, so I'll just keep it on auto, you can see it's on A there, but yeah that's pretty much the um, for the video settings, pretty basic, press the mode button again, Go back up to normal picture. Press that. And I'll show you this 
intelligent auto button basically when you press that it's put the camera into intelligent auto mode now if you saw that then it seemed to be getting a bit confused about what it was shooting it went to like macro and another mode sometimes it does that I mean I don't normally use the, the intelligent auto I, I just set it to oops press the wrong button just the normal normal picture mode which is there and you've got all your overrides once you're in this mode you've got more control over it you've got your flash whether you want to turn it on and off the red eye reduction um, you've got your self timer 10 seconds or 2 seconds click ok macro two different modes for macro I've not really looked into that yet so I set it off and that one there is an exposure compensation button I presume changing your exposure is pretty handy for a budget camera set to zero at the moment obviously there is a bit of noise in the in the pictures for the price it's not a full size sensor in it but all in all I'm really pleased with it it's quite well built as well I'm a bit scared of dropping it sometimes because I've got really big hands and it's only very small but you got like a little strap here, I should have my hand through that reel really, I don't want to drop it I'll show you the quick menu button again within photo mode I mean this is a great little feature, you haven't got to go through your main menus all these settings are in the main menus plus more but these are your main ones that you'd ever need with the quick menu button there there you've got that the A there is for the your, for the screen at the moment it's an automatic mode to change uh, during the course of the light in other words if it's darker it'll go brighter and so on come across you've got your size for your picture you can set the ISO sensitivity manually as well I normally keep it on about 200 in daylight auto white balance um, you've got all the different settings there for sunlight outdoors and what have you and you've got different shooting modes there the one it's on at the moment it just leaves a little focus box in the middle of the screen as standard uh, but so I normally keep it on that one anyway that's a 9 in fact it says there 9 area at the bottom of the screen it said it then 9 area mode so if there's more than one person in the shot and the one at the top is face detection that's really great how that works I've tried that that's quite good 9 area 1 area I normally keep it on 1 area though that's your burst mode for continuous shooting I'll keep that off really for this and auto there it's got that's your optical image stabiliser not a digital one it's optical that's pretty good it's on auto at the moment I've only ever kept it on that it seems to be really good the only thing so there's a few issues with it what I don't like I noticed when I took it out of the box it didn't come it was brand new obviously it didn't come with the, the protective plastic screen layer that comes on a lot of on your mobile phones and other cameras that I've seen I was a bit disappointed by that because I like to keep them on another thing when you connect the camera to the PC via the USB lead it doesn't charge the battery now I've had mp3 players and cameras and things in the past and they've always seemed to charge the battery but it's not a big issue the battery seems to last a while anyway so you just take it out and charge it on the mains the other thing is when you try and copy the video from the camera to the computer Via, connect, via connecting the camera to the computer with the USB lead it seems to take forever to copy the video across all photos I had a 600 meg HD video clip and it took about 20 minutes to copy it to the computer there's a way around it, just take your memory stick out your memory card out, put it in the card reader and it did it in about 30 seconds so that's probably just a characteristic of the camera or a firmware update would fix it, I'm not sure about that so all in all I think it's uh, a great camera I'm really pleased with it so um, I hope you like this review leave me any comments and things if you want to I'll speak to you later thanks for watching bye bye